Hello fellow Zuba Kings and Queens, welcome to Court Royal, and in today's video, your entertainer Zuba King is going to be doing some epic Steve gameplay. Yo, what's up guys, Zuba King here, and in today's video we're going to be doing a Steve gameplay, yes, you heard me, Steve gameplay. Steve used to actually be one of my favorite characters, believe it or not. I used to main him, get him Grandmaster 2 next, I mean pretty much every season, it was pretty consistent. And then basically when the update 3.0 came around, he just became less and less of a meta character. Especially since most of the primal instincts allowed people to get away easier, and that really just hurt Steve. But, I decided to play him this round, so for the loadout I'll be using... Actually, hold on, let me check what solos mode is it. It's solo standard, so I don't really need coffee for this guy. I'm going to be using Jungle Shoes, Fangs, and Adrenaline Shot. I feel like Adrenaline Shot's a must with Steve, and so is Fangs, really. And these are emotes I'm using. Pumpkin Emote, obviously, we love that Pumpkin Emote. So yeah, we're just going to go ahead and jump right in. I have a few crate slots to fill up. I didn't get to play much today, so we're just going to go ahead and jump right in. Before we get started, guys, I want to give a huge shout-out to Farhana Murtaza. If I pronounced that wrong, so sorry. But they suggested the Steve gameplay, and you know what? I'm pretty happy about this. Alright guys, we're loading into game one. So we didn't get to look much at the map, however, I do know that there's an iris down there, which I'm gonna have to be careful about the iris, because I do not want to take a lot of unnecessary damage. Alright, so I was able to really hurt the iris there. Dang it. Unfortunately, I was not able to get the spear shot, or the bow shot at the last second. Hopefully, I can just land on top of this iris. Yeah, alright. So I was able to get the iris out really quickly, which is really good because Steve has such a low amount of health that I think an iris shot would have totally annihilated me. And we're going to go ahead and try to land on this dude. I mean, he's kind of destroying me, but for the most part, should not be a difficulty. Yeah, so pretty easy. He's only level 10. The thing about Steve is you can never underestimate people just because of how low health he is. So charging into a battle aimlessly is never, ever a good idea. It's always smart to just play it safe. Only no, only attack what you know you can win. Higher levels, just stay back. Alright, so this is probably a Nyx, I'd have to say. Uh, using Toolkit. So I'm just going to kind of chill here. Hopefully just scope the area out see who I'm fighting against like I said never a good idea to charge just open-headedly into an attack because at any moment you can be pinged for quite a lot of damage especially by Nyx's bow which as I've voiced many times needs to be nerfed probably the most OP Steve killing weapon is Nyx's bow simply because she can boom dash me which is just shooting forward and shooting behind her it's really obvious and yeah, so we have a little 13 Larry, which shouldn't be much of a problem. Larry's are pretty good to like land on as long as their spear's been exhausted. Alright, so yeah, we're going to try to go ahead and... Uh, okay, so we got to be really careful here because... We do... These guys are level 13, so they're a lot higher level than us. Alright, they're probably going to come back. Okay, I did accidentally... Yeah, I got him. Okay, so they fortunately did not have very much health from their previous fight, and I was able to land in them at the perfect time. And because I had my view on them, it was really easy. So, I do have a really good loadout now. Unfortunately, I only have one med kit, so I am at a high risk of being boom dashed. So I gotta be careful in that quadrant of area. I'm gonna try to fly into the igloo. Hopefully no one's in here. Got lucky there. If someone had been in there, that would've been a bad day for me. Um, yeah, I'm just going to be gathering information. There is a Nyx in here. going to go ahead and just finish them up really quickly. Hopefully, just going to be able to... Oh, crap, 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 crap. Okay. Oh, I got out of there barely with my life. Alright, so yeah, I was able to get them two medkits. That's what the power of Vampire Fangs right there, guys. Like, Vampire Fangs is the most OP item on Steve, just simply because you can destroy with Steve because you can go into big, big fights and still manage to come out positive because of the massive amounts of damage you'll be dealing. That is one positive with Steve. Uh, I did main Steve for quite a long time, so I know what I'm doing when it comes to Steve. Alright, so obviously they are not a Nyx because they just picked up a spear, so that's really good. We do not need them being a Nyx. I don't know what they are though. Okay, they are a Earl. Oh, this is great. This could not be better. A character with absolutely no way of escape. Alright, so 
Hopefully they use their claw, and they didn't use their claw, they used their spear, which is really bad for us. Alright, they are down a medkit, so am I actually though, so I gotta be careful. Gonna essentially land on them again, this is not much of an issue, just simply because, yep, that's a dub. So yeah, that's basically one Steve gameplay down, let's go ahead and play another one, guys. This has been super fun. It's been a while since I played, played with Steve, he was one of my favorite characters, and I'd say he probably still is. Just unfortunately, he's underpowered in the current meta. So from what I see here, I'm going to go up for these two guards up in the top here. I mean, there is a Skippy. Oh, crap. Okay, so the guards did get out of that corner house, which is not what I wanted at all. And so I'm going to have to grab this bow, just kind of scope out the area here. I'm going to land on this Lizzie, actually, because I cannot have her getting any more loot than she already has. So, yeah, I'm going to try to land on the Skippy, which is going to be incredibly difficult. Just because it's a Skippy. Oh, wow, I got him. Okay, so I just barely nicked him with my last arrow. There's a level 9 Finn over here, which, unfortunately, I think they might be getting this medkit. A Finn will one-tap me very quickly, so i got to be very careful about that. Ah, oh, I hate Nyx. They took my... They took my See, the bow is doing so much damage. Okay. I'm getting, I'm at very high risk of getting boom dashed here, so I have to be really careful. Fortunately, I know what I'm doing when it comes to fighting these guys. I, I mean, I've been in the Nyx killing game for a long time. I know what I'm doing, pretty much. So, hopefully I can just get this Henry to help me with this Nyx problem. Okay, no, the Nyx actually won. Yes, and I got the Nyx. Okay, so the third party actually ended up snagging me the dub here. Uh, yeah. Okay, so fortunately they did abandon this med kit. They missed their bow shot, thank goodness. I'm just trying to get out of here at this point. I mean, they have a huge advantage over me. Oh, that bow is doing tons of damage. Drive me nuts. Okay, so at this point, I just have to be very careful. I have to get out of here. I'm getting boom dashed. They have a huge advantage. I have to get out of here, unfortunately. It's just a really bad situation for me to be in. There's a level 13 Jade up there. Hopefully, I can just get out of here. This is a bad, bad situation to be in. All right. Unfortunately, the 13 Jade did kill the Nyx, but I am in a very low point in health. I need to, need to, need to get a med kit soon. I do have two med kits, but I need somebody either to come up so I can f get Fang's health or somebody to die so I can pick up a med kit. Steve does not do well on low health. And you probably noticed I am panicking right now. I don't do well with Steve with low health. It's just bad because I'm a hyper aggressive player. Usually it ends up in me dead. I do have two med kits in reserve. So it's if things get ugly, I have an, a uh, backup plan, you could say. So yeah, the Yara's down two med kits. I'm down one, which that was expected. The Yara had no health. Again, the Yara is going to have that sniper characteristic. So as long as they have range on me, they have a huge advantage. Uh, yeah, so I took a lot of health off that Jade, and hopefully I can just take down this buck real quickly. Again, not, shouldn't be much of a problem, except it was, because they freaking had a lot of med kits. And unfortunately, I think I'm going to take down this buck, and then the Jade's going to third party me. And that will lead to my death, guys, so this should be a loss. I mean, with Steve, there's a point in which you can just calculate, yeah, I'm dead here. And at that point, it's just... A ticking time bomb to your death. Gonna... Yes. Oh, no way! Unbelievable that just happened, guys. Oh, crap. You know, I actually thought I had a chance there. I really did. But I didn't, obviously. So, yeah. I really didn't have much of a chance there. The 13 Jade probably would have gotten me. But it was worth a shot. Right, guys? Alright, guys. So those last two matches lasted a really long time. So that, uh, that just about wraps up this video. Anyways, guys. Thanks for watching. Have an outstanding day. And I'll see you in the zoo.